In this episode of OG55, I got the Italian with me as well as first time on the channel, we have San Fran Nan. We are talking all about relationships, dating, all that good stuff up next on OG55. Welcome aboard, everybody, to another episode of OG55. We're talking all about dating, relationships, texting, online dating, all that stuff. We're going to break it down. Before we do, I want to introduce Nan, first time on the channel. Welcome to the show, Nan. Thank you. I'm excited to be on the show and to do this thing with you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. I came across your content and I love it. I love your analysis on like, you know, relationships and all that good stuff. Everybody at home, I'll be linking all her, like her YouTube, her Instagram and all that stuff down in the description down below. But um, Nan, if you want to give everybody home, like a little idea, uh, like what you do, like on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, what do I do on YouTube? I do a bunch of yoga. <laughs> I do a, a bunch of like mom content. I also do some dating advice, which is fun to talk about. It's like girl talk online. Um, yeah, it's just basically whatever I feel. <laughs> but I, I wish it was like more like niche like yours, but yeah. There it is. And I'll be linking it all down below. So make sure you check it out for sure. Make sure you subscribe and follow on Instagram. The Italiano, see, man, the Italiano has a very special spiel. I'm not fancy like him. Go ahead, George. I'll let you do it. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Disney George. You can also find me on Instagram, Threads, and Blue Sky under the Disney Italiano. And, of course, you can find me right here on my home base at Orange Grove 55 with Citrus Corner with all that sweet, juicy, but sometimes sticky Disney news and info. See, he's got a whole thing, a whole thing. It's awesome. I need to, I need to learn from you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's let's dive right in. So, Nan, you, you've done a lot of great videos on like dating and relationships and what have you. And I, I've watched a bunch of your content. And one of the topics on one of your videos was like, are people like actually built for like long term relationships, right? Like, are we built for that? Are we hardwired for that, right? So, um, I'll start with you. Like, what do you? What's your opinion on that? Like, do you think that as human beings, we are are built for this or is it something that we're kind of like, is it square peg round hole kind of stuff? Yeah, I think it's square peg round hole kind of stuff. And it could be just based on like my culture um, and how I was kind of like raised and just the Asian culture in general. But I think the long-term relationship kind of made everything's kind of in my perspective, turn for the worse <laughs> because it really messes with like girls heads and it also i think it doesn't do a good service for men as well so that's my that's my thought on it probably people don't like it but that's my thought no no i mean i i feel you on that because i feel like i think like our, we're hardwired like i think we're hardwired like like you know for like for example right like animals and stuff they like it's about like procreating kind of moving on and things like that right they're kind of built differently right but i think we kind of have a little bit of that animal instinct in us but i think because we're obviously we're human beings and we're like more uh, what's the word for it? Like enlightened or whatever. We're smarter. So we want that monogamy. Right. But we but we still have that kind of like that basic like instinct that like animals have to just kind of like procreate and move on. So I think it's been that's why I think it's like a challenge. Right. Because we're fighting against that instinct. But we want to be monogamous. So it's like that push and pull with us. Right. So, no, I think you're right. I, I think that we're not really built for it. But I think that we want to have those monogamous long-term relationships. And, and I think that's why sometimes, and a lot of times, unfortunately, a lot of relationships don't work out because of that push-pull. You're fighting against kind of like your natural kind of, uh, what's the word for, like instinct, so to speak, you know? Let's yeah. Say I'm sorry. Yeah. What did you say? Oh, no, I, that's just kind of what I feel about it. Um, what are your thoughts on that? My thoughts are, you know, I think th there's like, um, so I'm, I'm married, so... There is like this calmness and um, confidence to know that you have someone that is married to you, right? Because it's like a, you know that you've equally made that commitment. But I think when you're in this long term, like gray area, there isn't a calmness for women. 
and and there is like a settling for the man because in the man's head he's like okay well i'm living with her we're in a long-term relationship i'm committed and marriage doesn't really make any sense because you're already doing the marriage thing so why push it like why make it even more messy is what i understand from my perspective of what men's thought process is because right. everything's all good why would you add more drama to it but for girls they always feel kind of slighted like kind of like it, you'll i think whenever whenever i talk to any girl there's always that conversation and sometimes it's always a girl who's in the long-term relationship living with the guy that's pushing forward she's pushing forward to get that ring to get married and to like procreate so you, I know you, well, I'll let you, I don't know if you shared with your like subscribers. I'm not sure what happened with your love life. And I don't even know if you want to share, but maybe you can talk about other people's love life and like examples that you've seen that go against what I'm saying. But that's just what I have seen in my small group of friends. Well, I, I would, I, I, I would, I would, oh, go ahead, bro. Well, real quick, I was just say, I, I actually agree with you on that. Like, because if you live, if you're living with somebody, right, I can see the mentality from a guy's perspective of like, okay, we're doing, like you were saying, the marriage thing. So if I get married and we make it a legal thing, and then if it doesn't work out, then it's like, like you said, it's messy. So, yeah. you know, I mean, would you like, would you like, like, advice to women would you suggest that they not move in with the guy long term and maybe like make him wait for that until you put the ring on it kind of yeah like i okay so i will get put a little asterisk disclaimer i'm savage okay so i don't uh i don't um you know i don't let people uh I don't, I don't want to say use, but like, I don't let people coast. Like you don't coast with me. And that's what men need. They need some woman to make them rise to a better man, to rise to the occasion. And that doesn't happen when you make it easy for them. And that's just, people say that they hate games, but that's just the man's instinct. If, if the girl that they have like are with, if she slept with everybody around the block, your mom, your dad, your sisters, brothers, everything, do, would you be proud to be like, yeah, I'm with this person and I'm like, you know, going to dedicate my life to this person? You probably wouldn't. You'd probably be embarrassed. <laughs> so right. for girls, if they want, the, and I only give advice to girls who like monogamy, normal, boring families. Mm -hmm. If you are not that girl, this is probably something that you don't want to listen to. But if you are that girl and you want that type of relationship, then you don't move in with the guy. You don't make it easy. You have to get it's a little game of push and pull and it's even though it sounds so messed up to say it guys need that they need that if you make it just too easy we're going to move in and then like you know we're going to wait years and years before we get married guess what it's not going to happen like i have a best friend who she stuck around with the guy and he said that he was going to marry her and years have gone by years have gone by and it messes with the girl's head and they start to get desperate. And what she did was she got herself pregnant and then he proposed. So that's, that's the other extreme, you know? So Right. That's interesting. George, what would say you on that, bro? Well, it does make sense because if you look back in the traditional times with marriage, a man and a woman never lived together until you got married you know you still lived in your separate houses maybe the female still lived with her parents and what have you you know you went on dates you you made it an official thing and then after the fact you got married you moved in now in today's time it became more modern where it's like you know what we don't have to be married first before we move in but yeah you get comfortable with that at times where it's like okay why change things if everything is so perfect? And honestly, I was literally the same way of thinking of that mentality after ha getting a divorce after being married for 10 years and what have you. It's like, do I really want to get back in that saddle, so to speak? And it's like, you know, you start questioning yourself of do you want something that you had, but you don't know how to approach it again in another way? But really, until you you never really know until you're faced with that that moment. You know, if you happen to find somebody, and as I said, I was talking to you um, earlier before we were recording. As I said, I'm now in a committed 
uh, relationship with my girlfriend who I met on the channel and what have you. And we're just, I'm actually taking a much, even though it may seem like faster approach, it is still much slower than what it was with my ex because literally oh, yeah. I'm going to throw these, I'm going to throw these dates at you and you're going to think I, I am like completely nuts. So I met my wife April 21st, my ex-wife, my ex-wife at the time. I met her April 21st, 2013. <laughs> we exchanged our first I love yous May 9th, 2013. I moved her out to me May 30th, 2013. I proposed to her June 4th, 2013. And we got married July 27th, 2013. So literally from April to July, it went from meet to marriage. And yeah. I think at that time it was, I was, I was such a greenhorn in that time for like a long, like committed relationship that I was just like, I waited my whole life trying to meet someone. I found someone, let me just like lock it in, so to speak. And she had um, a son who I took as my own and, and what have you. He still calls me dad. I still take Aww. him as my son. I raised him since he was three. He'll be 15 in March. So um, I feel like I did it also for him because, you know, she was in a bad way, you know, with raising him and everything. So I kind of hate to say this, but one of my good friends actually said it to me best. Uh, once we got the divorce, it was almost like she was my project, like where it was like I thought that I was in love, but it felt like I could fix her situation Right. by hoping that she would become a better person in the end and it didn't work that way and it just kind of came back and bit me on the butt so to speak yeah but it's weird how things like that kind of like it's a sucky situation at the time but a lot of times in life it's weird how sometimes like your life will kind of like go through a thing and things happen where you lose, you know, a marriage or you lose whatever. And then it opens the doors for so many new things. Like, you know, now George, you're in a great relationship, right? Right. Oh, you're, you're happy. Yeah, yeah. Like when I, when I first got my, my divorce, people thought I was going to be distraught. They thought I was going to be under the table in a field position. I bought myself a cake. Like it was <laughs> like, you know, cause it was like up until that point, I thought I was in love, but I didn't realize that really wasn't love. And then I felt like I was falling, falling into this dark hole yeah. and becoming somebody that I wasn't. So when I actually had the opportunity to say, you know what? Okay, this is my time. I can essentially, I'm just going to come out right and say it because this is who I am. Cause I know she's not even really listening. She never supported anything I did. So <laughs> she ended up, she ended up. Uh, so George's like totally venting. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she ended up uh, cheating on me with her boss. So so it was like at that opportunity, people thought I would be mad and upset. I was like, no, perfect. This is my scapegoat. Now I can get a divorce. She finally did something because I was so committed to her that I just didn't want to give up. When I, when I said my vows for better, for worse, I took that very serious. But, okay, so I think... That has like literally that is like such a great quality in you. And I hope like whatever happened didn't make you like betray that quality in yourself. Um, but I think maybe like like she had her own things, her own demons, her own, you know, situation. And it's really hard to tell how people are until like you have these like waves of conflict. And, and I guess like, did you, were, did you think you were side blinded by it? Or did you think it was just kind of like, like they say usually divorce is like cut or broken by a million cuts. You, you know uh, yeah, it saying? was a process. It was yeah, a process okay. like of until I finally knew what actually happened and when I had the proof, but in the back of my mind, I felt the slow progression of us drifting further and further apart. Yeah. Was yeah. It, did she said, did you guys ever get to talk about it candidly? Was it, was it like something like, I don't know, like, yeah. Did you ever talk about, like, did you ask why or like, it was what? always, well, and this was like partially on me because she had a history with men when I first oh. met her. And mm -hmm. this is where, and she also had 
daddy issues and what have you. So it was oh. all that together. So that's where my friend then told me that's where she became your project because you thought that you could end up fixing something that really only she could fix. And, and that's the dilemma too, right? Because everyone comes with something, right? Like everyone has something. And so there's a balancing act there a little bit where you're like, you love this person. And it's like, you want to be there for that person if they have like anxiety or if they have like whatever the case may be. And you, you know, if you, if you, no one's perfect. So you can't go into anything where, where the person's going to be perfect. But at the same time, like you, George, when there's a lot of baggage and it's, it's just overwhelming, you have to make that decision. And in this case, it was just too much for you to kind of get through that, you know? Yeah. So not to mention she wasn't a huge Disney fan. So that <laughs> that just killed it for well, you, I huh? Think, I think that's okay. Like that's another thing. Like I like I I think I told you guys I don't do like roller coasters. I also don't do snowboarding. I am like such a girly girl. I hate all those things. But <laughs> these are like things that my I I feel like my husband has like Aspergers about, right? Like I just I don't you know. But we're we see other qualities deeper than that, right? So. I think when you do date and you do and you are the type of person looking for a marriage and a normal family, you have to see past these like small superficial things. Like, yes, you you both can love Disney, but is this person honest? Do they value relationship? Do they value right. family? Yes, they love Disney, but do they like, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah, it just has to be Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I've I'm I George and I have talked about this a lot, right? And I've I I've told him, like, for me personally, I don't need my relationship to like for her to be super into it as long as she likes it where she'll go with me. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't need it. But, but in all seriousness, uh, yes, absolutely. Like all those traits still have to come with that. Like, yeah, the honesty, the faithfulness, the commitment, the um, again, just like great traits of like in the characteristics of the person itself. But as I said, I've tried doing the training game with her with like the disney aspect and oh, i just uh -huh. i can't i can't do it like i need i needed somebody and thank god abigail is a person who absolutely loves disney on top of all those other traits she's right. a beautiful person inside it out as i said she's very kind she's very generous you know she's very sweet but she also loves disney so i needed all that kind of like wrapped in a big bow and that's like when i found her which again, I wasn't anticipating on really when I would get into a relationship. But when I found her, I was like, I'm not letting her go because yeah. she's perfect for me in every way. Can you say yeah, out, and I, I'm you say sorry. out again in your, in your Pennsylvanian accent? Out. I'm sorry. What was it? Can you say out in your Pennsylvanian accent? Out. Yeah. You should. Out, out, out. Out. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> sorry, Nan. I, I always tease him about uh, his accent. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, so he gets me all the just... time when I say Don Tan. Yeah, like that's so funny. When you move to California, you might that might change. You never know. You never know. You never know. Go, go ahead, Nan. I'm, I do apologize. Oh no worries. Um, I just loved how you listed all the traits that she had that she has, um, and that's like one of the huge things that you need to write down before you start dating is all the traits that you want, even if it says that person needs to be or has to love Disney because you get you get tricked when you don't have your clear characteristics that you must hit when you go on a date because your hormones could be so off just because you're like super attracted to the person or I don't know, something random will just like make your brain go crazy, at least for girls. Right. So on my channel, once you sleep with the guy your hormones get all messed up and you start thinking he's god but reality he has all these flaws but if you made your list and you stuck to the list i'll you take your word for it because i never i'll take your word for it because i never slept with a guy <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good i think when your when your um girlfriend sees that she's gonna be happy you said that <laughs> yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. george is so funny now, now nan um <laughs> uh i know you have a heart out so i won't take too too much longer i want to ask a little bit though about we got into relationships but in terms of in terms of like dating right and in terms of like kind of courting i guess you would say leading into that relationship in this new age, texting is a big part of that, right? So what's your take on the texting game? Like, there's a lot of rules out there, like, you know, 
people will tell you like, you, oh, you don't double text. If you text her and she doesn't reply, you don't say a word. You never send another one or whatever. Like what's your take on that? Or are you more like, hey, you know what? If you like the girl and you want to text her, just text her. Yes. <laughs> Like, what kind of crazy mess is that? Like, yeah, you, if you like the girl, you have to be brave, right? Men, like, since uh, the way back in the day, men are hunters. They have testosterone. They're like 10 times stronger than girls, you know? Like, they, they can with, stand a lot of things right so i think you have to be brave and put yourself out there just like you would if you're publicly speaking right you would just go out there do your speech and then whatever happens happens and i think for men don't get into this like weird hiding thing like you if you like the girl let her know and it's up to her to to decide just like in the wild right like the like the, i don't know if you guys watch that like um that nature video on netflix where the bird like does all, all the dance in front of the other bird the girl bird and then he, if he does a good dance then you can like mate right so for for what my take is that like you have to court the girl let the girl know but it's up to her if she wants to go with you or not and if she doesn't it doesn't mean you're any less of a man it's just you guys don't match maybe she yeah. really wanted someone who liked disney and you didn't so yeah, exactly that's yeah. perfect no that's perfect absolutely what say you italiana what, how, what's your style bro like when you're when you're when you're into a girl like what do you do oh, you just for me like i just get like right to the point like if I, if I'm into a girl, I'll just come flat out and say, it. I don't go through A, B, C, D, E. I go straight to Z. Like <laughs> I just get straight to the point and it's like, I I can't. And, and you had mentioned Nan uh, earlier, like about like the game, like playing the game and everything and like how you can kind of maneuver. I don't have time for that. Like <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't, I don't do any of the games. It's like, if you like me, I like you. And I'm a traditionalist, so I just approach a girl, say, hey, I really like you. I think you're cute. I think we have some good chemistry. Would you like to go out sometime? If that's that's not the game. That you're doing a normal person thing. Like yeah. I think the game, like there's like so many weird definitions of the game, right? So I, I'm saying it in like you you have to be like the normal courting process. There's I guess I guess what I'm saying is like you don't want to just like, I don't know, like they, they have all these weird things about the game. There is no game. It's just like the normal way that it's always been. The guy asks the girl and the girl says yes or no. Like there's no, right. but the, the part that gets really weird is you guys, let me know how you feel about this. Okay. Say you go to get buy a car, right? And the salesperson keeps hitting you up, keep hitting you up and keeps like following you around. Do you feel like you want to buy the car? You feel like, ooh. Yeah, exactly. Too much. <laughs> exactly. And that's what I was going to get to. That was actually going to be my follow-up. That's a perfect point in because there, there comes a point. Yeah, direct is good. You, you put yourself out there. But then it comes a point where it's like if someone's not getting the hint that the other person isn't interested, now you're coming off needy. Cause now and you're coming like, off really like. really like desperate. And those those vibes mean like there's something wrong with you. Like I my husband told me about some girl who like – they connected on hinge and she was chatting him up and she was like are you gonna call me and it was kind of that's kind of super abrasive you know what i mean yeah. and he was like okay so he called and she was like so you're gonna ask me on a date it's like what is going on here <laughs> like that's just too like that's what women are like doing these days and and what I mean by the game is like, stop being so thirsty, stop being so desperate, stop being like that salesperson that's like super annoying and spammy. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, exactly. Because all it does, you're right, it pushes you away. If you ever go into the mall and there's people trying to like sell you stuff when you walk by, like the last thing you want to do is stop. It's annoying. Like I just yeah. go the other way, you know? And like, it's the same kind of idea where it's like, yeah, if you're going to come at me like that, it, it, it repels you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Nobody wants to be like like that. Exactly. <laughs> girls, girls, on the other hand, we love it. I like it. I don't know. And they're like, oh, that guy told me I'm pretty, I'm beautiful. <laughs> like, you know, I yeah. like it. But I think dudes, they're probably like, ooh, like that's just like that's like too like they don't like to be penetrated like with energy. Like girl, you know what I mean? It's like a weird dynamic. Yeah, I yeah. Think for me, is like I love getting that attention like from a female, like when Abby does it for me, like I love when she like gives me attention, but just like- What about, what about when I give it to you? If, what about if, when I give it to you? Do you yeah. like it, bro? No, I <laughs> <laughs> But like if a girl just kept on like 
hovering and like smothering me. It's like, whoa, this is like too much. Like you got to yeah. like, back off just a little bit. Give me some breathing room here. You know, it's like, I get it. You know, uh, you have a thing for me. And as I said, like I'm, I'm Italian and I always say, once you go Italian, it's like riding a stallion while wearing a gold medallion. You know, it's like, <laughs> It's a, it's a chest hair, George. You know, the ladies can't resist. The ladies it's, can't it's, resist. It's the chest hair and the tight pants. What could I say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, the neediness, the the neediness is has to be one of the most unattractive things, and I think yeah. it, you know, that goes in both directions because a lot of dudes are needy, are, are very needy too. And that's a huge turnoff. If you're texting a girl and she's like, obviously not texting you back, you're never getting a response. Like, why are you gonna blow her up, right? Like. You back off, you know, and wait, you know, a little bit. Like, there's you got to have a little bit of that social intelligence to kind of understand and kind of, you know, feel, read the room, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. You know and I call, you know what I call? Oh, sorry, Nan. Really quick. You know what I really think that is almost like when you have a family and you have young kids, and they're in the back of the car, and it's like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's that repetitive <laughs> thing. Right. And it's like <laughs> we'll yeah. get there when we get there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, like. If, if girl do, I, well, Abigail watches this, right? So if girls watch this and I'm not, this is not for her, but I'm just saying the other people, you have to give the space for the guy to come to you. They like that better. They don't like it when you're like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Like you have to like, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the, the chase makes it fun, right? It's kind of like, if you play a video game, you don't want to just go to the end and, and just beat it. Like you, the process is part of that fun. The you journey. Know? Yeah. Yes. And I, cause then you have a beautiful story. Oh, like I love my story with my husband. I, he double texted me. Okay. Cause like when you, when you text on hinge, the, the first person, it'll go back on top. Right. And at first I was like, okay, whatever. And then he like texts again and I was like, okay, I'll answer. So you never know, you know, you never know. I have me and Abby's story is really like, I know we don't have time like for me to get like to the beginning of the end. I know you knew a little bit of it. We had our first orange Grove 55 meetup. She came um, to the meetup, everything. Cause we were talking before, but it was nice that I actually got to put a face with the name. Cause she would constantly be in the lives. You know, she would be on like the um, comment in the, the comment section should be in the DMS. Uh, with me and everything would just be talking. And then I finally got to see her in person. And when we got into the the park and everything, her and I just started connecting and talking and everything. And it just so happens that we were partnered up and we rode Dumbo together. Well, I tell you what, there was some Disney magic that night because that little elephant with the big ears, <laughs> something just happened where her and I just sat in that elephant. And it was like, you see the the rays of, of the angels coming down like the, ah! You know, it was like, it, it was perfect. And I don't know, it, it, something just came over me where it was like, I really, I really have a thing for this girl. That's yeah, awesome. I love that. That's your guys' spirit animal, <laughs> joint yeah. spirit yeah. animal is the Dumbo. It's Dumbo. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to go, guys. It's 8.36. It's 8. It's yeah. For my two-year-old. But I had so much fun. Um, Let me know if you want to do it again. I'm going to sign off, guys. All right. Thank you for coming right, on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You too. Take care. Awesome, awesome show. The Italiano. Any closing thoughts? Uh, that was phenomenal. I really yeah. liked that. Like it was fun. It was almost like a a therapeutic session where it's like <laughs> yeah. afterwards you feel good about yourself. I would definitely love to have her back on again. That was that was awesome. A hundred percent. No, it, she was a lot of fun. We'll definitely have her on again. Uh, Italiano, where can everybody at home find you on social media, sir? Absolutely. You can find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Disney George. You could also find me on Instagram, Threads, and Blue Sky under the Disney Italiano. And, of course, you can find me right here on my home base at Orange Grove 55 with Citrus Corner with all that sweet, juicy, but sometimes sticky Disney news and info. There it is. Okay, everybody, comment down below with everything we talked about today. You know, George's relationship, uh, texting, dating. Are, are human beings, are we built for relationships? Are we hardwired for that or not? What's your thoughts on that? We would love to hear from you. Oh, I know a lot, we got a lot of Disney fans in the house, right? Mm -hmm. Is Disney a big part of your like dating kind of, um, what's the word for it? Like, like protocol, right? Like if you're look when you're looking for somebody is dating, is being into Disney a big part of that for you personally as a Disney fan or yeah. not? 
And really quick, bro, before we go, I, I just wanted to just throw this in too, because I'm not sure if I threw in my two cents about this earlier, about like, are we wired, you know, for long-term oh, yeah. uh, relationship? Um, there, th there is, there is a part of me that I think that with, the the younger generation nowadays and especially with social media everything is so fast everything is so quick people using instagram TikTok, it's like short get to the point and i think that's where as time goes on unfortunately the traditional long-term relationships that's where i can understand where it's like it, it, we're not like uh wired that way in a sense i do feel like that if you do find the right person though and you have that connection and that chemistry it could you know, create something more, you know, substantial and long. But unfortunately, I feel like majority, unfortunately, as time progresses, I think relationships just get shorter and shorter. Oh, you're, I lost, no, no sound. Oh, there you go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, and that's what I was trying to say a little earlier when, when, um, earlier on, on in the show where it's like, I think we're hardwired to like, cause we have the animal instinct, right? That procreate and move on kind of thing we're, you know, in us, but we are human beings. We're very intelligent. So we want to have that monogamy, those long lasting lifetime relationships, but it's very hard because you're fighting against your own kind of instinct, right? So you're right, George, if you meet a person who's like your soulmate or you meet someone who you really connect with, yeah, you're going to have challenges, 100%. You will always have those challenges, but you're going to do it for that person because they're your soulmate and exactly. you want to do it because you love them and they are for you. Now, you will have challenges. It's not going to be like a Disney movie, Happily Ever After. There exactly. will be battles along the way, but you're willing to do those battles for that person because you really, really do care about them. You know what I'm saying? But on a instinctual level, I don't think that we're programmed for long term. I really don't. I think that it, that is more of a social construct that we're implementing. I think it's a good one. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good social construct, but it is a social construct. And I think you're fighting against that animal instinct to go in the other direction. And I think that's probably why for me, when I jumped the gun and got married too quickly, that's where everything just spiraled and went out of control because I didn't have that time to move with the process you know when i was single for a year and a half i got to move along like you know get to see like different women and how it is and now after the fact of meeting abby it feels like to me you know she is my one and only you know she was meant for me i was meant for her i'm ready to settle down because again i kept an open mind that if i was to fall in love again you know, I'm just going to let it come naturally. And for me, it did. And as I said, I'm, gl I'm glad it did. Yeah. hundred percent. 100%. Great show. Nan is awesome. We will definitely have Nan on again and everybody at home. Make sure you subscribe to her on YouTube. Um, I'm kind of new to her channel, but she does amazing, amazing content, especially if you have a family, if you have little ones, you will love her content. She has a lot of family stuff on there. So check her out. I'm, I'll link that down below. I'll link her Instagram down below and her website down below. So make sure you show her all the love, the Italiano. Thank you for joining today, sir. And uh, where can they find you on social media? I think I already did that. Are you sure? Did we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Cause okay. I say, I segued into the, Oh, okay. Conversation. So that was oh, okay. Great. Yeah. And everyone knows anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching OG55. If you aren't already, consider becoming a member today.